morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 74, page 690. Turning away, Jesus sought again his retreat and fell prostrate, overcome by the horror of a great darkness. The humanity of the Son of God trembled in that trying hour. He prayed, not now for his disciples, that their faith might not fail, but for his own tempted, agonized soul. The awful moment had come, that moment which was to decide the destiny of the world. The fate of humanity trembled in the balance. Christ might even now refuse to drink the cup apportioned to guilty men. It was not yet too late. He might wipe the bloody sweat from his brow and leave man to perish in his iniquity. He might say, let the transgressor receive the penalty of his sin, and I will go back to my Father. Will the Son of God drink the bitter cup of humiliation and agony? Will the innocent suffer the consequences of the curse of sin to save the guilty? The words fall tremblingly from the pale lips of Jesus. O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Just as Jesus surrendered his will to the Father, are you willing to do the same? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I know that when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was tempted not to go through with the plan of salvation. But I thank you for Jesus who surrendered his will to you. And because of that, today I am saved from my sins. Just as Jesus surrendered fully to your will, I know that today you are calling me to do the same. Help me to have the same humility and willingness like Jesus to surrender fully to your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have a magnificent day ahead of you. Goodbye.